Everyone and welcome to NABE, N-A-B-E, and it stands for the Niagara Area Business Exchange. I have some members here who are on the set with me. In fact, they just concluded a meeting, so they wanted to run right up here on the set and tell you all about this wonderful organization and about their individual businesses. So I would like to introduce Lauren Coley yep. of Carpet Collection. Yes. Glad to have you on the show today. Thank you so much. And Chase Bowman of ACS Corp. I'm glad to have you on the show today. Thank you. And Sarah Reed of Fort Hyde Kennels. Welcome to the show. Glad Thanks, to have nice you to here be too. here. Now, you're all members of NABE. Uh, Lauren and Sarah, you're relatively new members. Right. So I'm going to throw this question to Chase as <laughs> our experienced you. member. Um, Chase, tell us a little bit about when we talk about the Niagara Area Business Exchange, what does an exchange mean? What type of organization is that? Well, our exchange means it's a networking organization. It's a group of independent or non-independent business uh, owners or employees who get together on a weekly basis and exchange what it is they do and okay. networking. Terrific. And networking is very important because Absolutely. You know, in today's world it's who you know who may who know somebody who can give you the business and that's important. Great. Now where are your meetings usually held if someone's thinking, you know, I think I'd like this group, where could they find you? We're at the Dale Center uh, most of the month, I think it's three, three uh, Wednesdays out of the month and then one Wednesday out of the month. We're here in the Keenan or over at LCTV. And then you meet first thing in the morning so that yes, you can do. Bright you know, and early. start the, the day off right and then mm -hmm. head off to work and you've got a lot of knowledge and, and leads and, mm -hmm. and everything too. And the fifth Wednesday of each month we usually have a guest speaker well, who benefits good. any of us who are already members and a lot of members actually invite guests in to listen Terrific. to what the guest speaker says. We've had such speakers as attorneys and motivational speakers, etc. Wonderful. Lauren, tell us what is a meeting like? Is it, is it you know, um, it, it seems from very lighthearted, but you get a lot done, but you have a Absolutely. good time together. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. <clears throat> we go around and introduce ourselves, tell about our business. Um, we might um, have something to say for the good of the group okay. and uh, exchange leads. And it's awesome. a lot of fun. Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah. And, and it sounds like you get a lot done and you learn a lot Absolutely. in the time that you have each mm -hmm. week together. Yeah. That's really wonderful. It is. Sarah, tell us, why would you find uh, networking important for a business? Well, networking is important is if you have something that you need filled, you have someone to go to. If I have an insurance issue, I know who to call. If I'm looking to buy or sell something, I know who to call. Um, it just kind of gives me knowledge of who handles what and I can go to them quickly. Mm -hmm. I know them on a personal level and you're not just picking some name out of the phone book that hoping That's is going to get you yeah. in the right direction. That's great. You do get to know each other in the group Absolutely. Well. And then And you, you trust each other because you know each other so mm -hmm. well. That's really wonderful. Um, so it sounds like a terrific organization. Um, Chase, are you taking new members? Um, if someone is interested, could they join? Yes. We have an exclusivity clause in it that uh, we won't take another real estate agent, we won't take another carpet collection or another Fort Hyde. Uh, if you are non-competing, and we'll offer you the exclusivity to join the group. Okay. That sounds great. And can you try out a meeting? Maybe just you attend certainly can. and see I think what it's you think? Uh, two or three meetings that you can come to at no okay. charge without any commitment. And if it works for you, we welcome you with open arms. And we're really cheap. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Sounds like a great thing for mm -hmm. any business person, whether you're just starting out or whether you're an experienced business person. It sounds like just the thing to do. So wonderful. So I wanted also to talk about your individual businesses. And Lauren, I'm going to start with you. Tell okay. us about yourself and then also about Carpet Collection. Okay. Um, I've been with Carpet Collection for about 16 years. Um, I love it. I um, tended in my prior careers to be more detail-oriented person. But in this option, I get to be with people a lot. So I oh, love it. Great. I get to do both. Um, 
We have a great team at Carpet Collection, um, professionals that have been in the business for 50 years and then down. Our installers have all been in the business for 25 years or so. Wow, so great. we are very well trained and um, it's a great place to work and it's a great place to shop. We are not high pressure sales. We are um, more of um, helping you Wonderful. learn what you need okay. to know about making an, an investment in your home. So it's, it's a great place to be, to have all the experts at your fingertips and not be pressured. That sounds really nice. Yeah. yeah. So now if I'm thinking of redoing either at my business or at home, mm -hmm. and I'm not really sure like what's trendy mm -hmm. or what I might yep. want, yep. can I just come in and say, Absolutely. this is the kind of space I have, and, Absolutely. and you would kind of talk me through the yep. possibilities? Yep. Okay. Yep, because the business and the products change dramatically. Um, over the years, and um, there are, if you haven't shopped in 10 or 15 years, there's many new <laughs> options. Yeah, new fibers mm -hmm. in carpet, um, new warranties, there's new pet carpet that has uh, waterproof lining on the bottom, oh, nice. um, pet proof fibers that um, prevent staining for any kind of pet you may have, um, new LVT, uh, luxury vinyl tile, and plank flooring which is a relatively new category, mm -hmm. but taking off like crazy. You probably see it in um, retail stores or bars on the floor. It looks like hardwood, but okay. it's not. Wow, so, nice. Yeah, there's a million new options. And educating somebody to say, you know, if you have, I don't know, three dogs and four kids, it's a totally different decision than <laughs> if you're two retired people. Sure, yeah. So, yeah. It, and you're right, you know, you want it to look really great and you, you may not know all mm -hmm. the possibilities that are out there. And exactly. it's nice to know about the new um, the new technical mm -hmm. things that are coming out, improving mm -hmm. how long car how long do carpets usually last if you had, say, the kids and the dogs yeah, and stuff? Yeah, totally you really different. Gotta, totally you know. different. It depends on how often you clean weekly. It depends on how often you clean annually, like mm -hmm. if you have truck mounted steam clean done okay. or not. In fact, most of the mills have initiated a program that if you do not clean at within every 12 to 18 months, you void your warranty completely. So yeah. things like that are really important to know. It shows how important it is to it is. make sure that your carpet is well maintained. Absolutely. Yeah. It makes a big difference. Now, you also offer carpet cleaning? We do. Okay. We have our own uh, state-of-the-art truck-mounted steam cleaning machine. Awesome. Uh, we can do area rugs. We'll even, if they're handmade, we'll pick up take them to a place that can dip them, etc. Okay. bring them back, deliver them to you, mm -hmm. or we can clean carpets, tile, um, all sorts of things in your home, upholstery. Terrific. Mattresses. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Now tell us where you're located and how would we get a hold of you? Sure. We're at uh, 5939 South Transit. Okay, and that's in Lockport? It is in Lockport, yes, uh, on the southern side of Lockport. And um, right next to the outdoor store. A okay. lot of people know of that <laughs> establishment. Um, we have a very large facility and hundreds of choices. That's really cool. It can be overwhelming if you haven't shopped in a while. That's why we like to help people through the maze. Absolutely. <laughs> no, that sounds great, you know, yeah. to kind of give you an idea, because there may be something that's perfect for your home or business. Absolutely. You didn't even think of you it, didn't and even think your of suggestion it. would right. be, that sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. Great. And your website? Uh, carpetcollection.com, oh, okay. www.carpetcollection.com. Yeah. Wonderful. In mm -hmm. fact, our website is linked to the buying group that we're a part of, okay. and which is a wonderful thing, because being a part of a buying group, we have um, the strength of that group negotiating deals with the mills for us, which enable us, us to offer better pricing, better warranties, etc. That's terrific. Great. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. That's awesome. Chase, tell us about yourself and about your business. Well, I work with a, a global company, as I, I mentioned before, that's a global presence in the alcohol and drug detection uh, cool. industry, um, which varies from just alcohol all the way through to major drugs including heroin. Wow, okay. um, Some of the things that we do are we classify the products we make 
into two areas, one which is known as proactive or screening, which is ones that we could use or our companies could use to, mm -hmm. to check employees, and what we call evidentiary products. Mm -hmm. Evidentiary products are what your law enforcement agencies, okay. whether it be a TSA, Homeland Security, state troopers, or you know, our local police in, in Lockport would use to check to see if you are over the limit or at the limit. Oh, okay. But some really exciting things have happened, Judy. Remember the last show I told you about the sniffer, mm -hmm. which Homeland Security was really interested in? Great product, looks like a flashlight. You can s wander it around a room or a table or even in a car and it picks up alcohol that's in there. If Amazing. anybody's been drinking or if there's open containers, well, Homeland Security has asked us if we could possibly develop one that can also pick up drugs like marijuana. Because wow. 2017 has been a real you know, game changer for law enforcement agencies with a number of states legalizing it's recreational true, yeah. marijuana. Mm -hmm. So the law enforcement is caught in a position of not knowing how to test for this. There are no accurate tests for roadside to determine whether okay. you have been impaired by a drug, okay. whether it be marijuana or something else. So okay. they're actively ac asking us to see if we can help them with that. Yeah. To that end, I'd like to warn anybody about getting any products like this that okay. supposedly can test for, for marijuana. They don't. They're oh, not very accurate. No matter what it says on their, on their mm -hmm. package, they're not very accurate. Mm -hmm. And don't fool yourself. You could test with that and say, hey, I'm okay. And then the police officer comes, uh, oh. you were driving on the sidewalk. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, it's very, very interesting. Yeah. Um, worldwide, we've just uh, purchased a one million square foot facility in France. Okay. And the French government has reenacted its law where they're going to be... Uh, actively promoting the fact that if you're driving in France, you have to have two of these in your car at all times. Ford Motor Company is back in the picture. They want to, uh, whenever you buy a car or rent a Ford product, even in their service departments, they're going to have these for sale for you so that you can Terrific. make sure you've got it. Yeah. Guatemala is, uh, two years ago, went in and made this their official product their law enforcement uses. And I'm happy to announce that in Colombia, they just passed a law which rivals the French law, making them the second most socially uh, responsible country, where in Guatemala, every bus, every transport truck must have an ignition interlock system in it. Wow. Which makes it impossible yes. to start the vehicle if you've had anything to drink. Yeah. And we know it wasn't just two months ago here in Lockport where a bus driver was two and a half times the legal limit and had 32 children on board. You know, it's something we need to look at seriously here as well. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. it's, it's wonderful that your company has so many different types of products and can be used, as mm -hmm. you said, by lay people or by law enforcement. So oh, yes. that's really terrific. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, do you see that also growing in the U.S., interest in, in this type of? We're currently in discussion with a major retailer with over 13,000 locations across the United States okay. to nice. produce and brand for them a screening a product very similar to any of these that okay. would be able to go into the stores uh, that they would sell. Okay. Um, wow. It'll very much depend on the states because mm -hmm. uh, a certain state can allow you to sell it where they utilize or sell beer. Other states will allow you to sell it where they do wine. Some states won't allow it at all in a liquor store. Oh, okay. uh, oh, interesting. And the state of Pennsylvania is keenly interested. They're a captive state. They have state stores, and they're very interested in having it in all their state stores. Mm, so, okay. It's looking good. We also have a product which you've been asked to quote by the military. Um, this is not our product. Uh, it's a competitor. And they were given the opportunity to um, produce 7 million of these. So the little known military command called the Installation Management Command. If you've ever been in the military, they control every base in the world. Mm, okay. They're the security, they're the cleanup crew, they do everything. And they passed out seven million of these uh, about eight years ago. And the company that originally produced them can't do them again. Mm. So they've asked us to come in and, and take a look at uh, wow. helping them out with it. So very clear, it's a little key ring, so it's yeah. easy to put. And we're also looking at creating easy to portable little cases for our product that, particularly women, they have a purse. They don't really want to carry around a bulky package, but they could take it out of the package, put it in one of these, stick it in their purse. Man could do the same thing in his pocket. So nice. we're looking at all different ways to make it convenient and not so public. You know. mm -hmm. Sure. 
And it's wonderful to see all the things that are happening in different countries, mm -hmm. how the approach that they're taking, you know, the proactive approach mm -hmm. to, for safety, and, and it's wonderful to see. So, so your, your firm works with so many different organizations and companies and countries. It's yes. very exciting. Yeah, wow. we're, we're very proud of the fact that uh, we are a sponsor and a participant in the MAD Canada program. We are the only company that produces alcohol and drug detection devices that can place the MAD Canada logo okay. and approval on wow. our products. We're hoping to get it here in the United States, okay. but there's zero tolerance and MAD Canada says, hey, anything that can help people from not making the mistake. So. Yeah, definitely. Wonderful. And, and uh, do you have a website? Or the, the best website for anyone to look at for us is really simple. It's mydrivesafe.com. Okay. And it connects to everything we do and will you know, link you to any of our global websites as well. That's terrific. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And thank you for thank bringing you. these to show, too. Thank it's you, so Jane. interesting. Sarah, tell us about yourself and about your business. Well, I've been at Fort Hyde Kennels now for just about 18 years. Okay. I started off just, again, as a stepping stone. I was going to go there and you know, scoop some poop till I figured out what I was going to do with my life. <laughs> Let it be known, it was what I was going to do with my life. So That's now so I cool. manage the place. Wow. And um, I'm also the dog trainer there as well. Okay. Wow. Good so, well, thank you. So Fort Hyde Kennels, we're a full service boarding kennel. Okay. So we do boarding, typically dogs and cats. We can board more unusual things. We've done pot belly pigs and guinea pigs and birds and, you know, that type of stuff as well. So that's an option for us. And by full service, we offer everything. It's not just boarding, drop your dog off, pick them up, go home. When they're with us, you can do playtimes with them. Okay. And uh, playtime is like social hour. So it's, it's you nice. with you know, your dog, with a staff member, one-on-one, -on -one, getting some personal attention. Mm -hmm. you know, during that point, as staff, we're trained to go over the dog, check for any lumps or bumps or if there's any matting of the hair or anything mm -hmm. like that. You know, we just kind of give them a once-over to make sure that everything's That's still great. up and running while yeah. they're with us. And um, the kennels are clean daily, so inside and outside everything is disinfected and hosed and that type of stuff. So it's like top notch. I love bringing people in for tours and say, "Do you smell that?" And they go, "No, what smell?" And I go, "Exactly, that's my point." <laughs> so you know, what one of my you know t topics is always, "Yeah, I would eat off of this floor before I'd eat off of my own floor at home." You know, this floor is disinfected and mopped every day. Mine, not every day. You know, so um, in addition to that, we do the grooming as well. So that can start with just your basic bath and nail trim if they just need a quick freshen up. Or if you want to do the full haircut, you go through and you give them the whole kit and caboodle. You know, we can do all the fancy, the bichon, the poodle cuts, all that stuff as well. Nice. We have a really, really good groomer. So she does really nice work there as well. And then um, from the training aspect of it, we do the obedience. We do that from beginner and on. So you have, okay. you know, teeny tiny little puppy, all those puppies we just got for Christmas. Puppy training <laughs> class <laughs> works on socializing, okay. potty training. And I love your carpet idea for the puppies. Yeah. I got to keep that in mind. That's a good one. Um, and then it goes all the way on up to your advanced dog. You want to teach your dog how to heal off leash? Great. We can do that for you. Wow. You know, and then we have also yappy hours on Saturday. Not to be confused with happy hour. <laughs> yappy hour um, Saturday is 12.30 for the little guys, 2.30 for the big guys. And it's just, again, we have a one-acre fenced-in area. Everybody nice. is temperament tested before they join the fund so okay. that we know everyone out there is hunky-dory. And we turn them loose, and they get to have a little social hour. And we sit around and have a social hour, and the dogs do their thing. And it's really great for you know, getting rid of some of that pent-up energy and sure. just making sure that yeah. they do play properly. Yeah. You know, oh, not smash the little ones. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, so any other special things that you offer or things that we should think about, especially like at this time of year? Well, I mean, I mean, this time of the year when it's cold out, I mean, just kind of side note, not related to boarding, but as the snow starts flying again, which it will, um, mm -hmm. you have all your salt and everything on your sidewalk, so you want to make sure you're cleaning your dog's feet appropriately oh, so that they're not point. ingesting yeah. any of that salt. Um, they do make products now, and you can actually make your own out of beeswax, but it's a wax that goes on the dog's pads, oh, and wow. it kind of helps keep all of that chemicals and stuff off of their pads so that they're not getting the burns when you're not walking them. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. Now, if you're, if you're thinking about boarding your dog, should you maybe visit the facility first and kind of, you know, see for like, sure. how your dog tells yeah, you about Yeah, you absolutely want to stop in for a tour of the facility. Whether it's our kennel or somewhere else, you know, you want to stop in for a tour. You want to see the place. You want to see where your dog's going to be kept. You want to do that sniff test that I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Um, you want to meet the staff. Are they friendly? Are they knowledgeable? Are they just kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah? Or are they really invested in what you have to say? Cool. You know, at Fort Hyde, we don't hire anybody 
that doesn't meet certain criteria. Okay. And what we're looking for when we hire is someone that's going to treat your pet like their own pet. Mm, that's cool. And it's good to know because I'm thinking, you know, say for example, something came up and you needed to go out of town quickly. You already know a great place for for your pet because you yeah, to absolutely. Check it out. You you want to really cool. stop in and get to know the people before you need us. You know, get the vaccinations before you need us. That way, if something happens, you can just bring them in and you're not scurrying around last minute to try to get all the appropriate vaccinations yeah. and you're, that type you're ready of stuff. To go. Yeah, yeah, yep. that's cool. For sure. I wanted to ask about training as well. Say, for example, you adopt an older dog. You know, it, can they still take training? I mean, old can dogs can respond? absolutely learn new tricks. Okay. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Just ask my husband. I mean, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it, with an older dog, they're a little more set in their ways. So if you think of a habit, the longer you've had a habit, the harder it is to break it. And that's where they say old dogs can't learn new tricks. It's going to take a little longer for that habit to be broken but it absolutely can be. Mm -hmm. And with any habit, you want to redirect it. So it's not just take jumping, for example. It's not just don't jump on me. It's don't jump on me, sit. We're replacing okay. a bad behavior with a good behavior. So we're creating a new addiction, so to speak. That's cool, that's cool. And that's a good way to look at it, you mm -hmm. know, that the dog will learn to do the new behavior that you are looking for. Yeah, something for much more socially acceptable. Yeah, you know? oh, mm -hmm. that's awesome. So tell us again where you're located in your website. We are uh, Fort High Kennels, so that's 8513 Ridge Road in Gasport. Okay. And uh, website, www.forthydekennels.com. And we are on Facebook as well. So we do cute little posts on Facebook, oh, something to fun. check out. Yeah. Nice, yeah, absolutely. Because everybody likes looking at dogs and cats and all the different animals. Sure. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> very good. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. And we just have a few minutes left. So I just, in case anybody has joined us partway through the show and you want to find out a little bit more about the Niagara Area Business Exchange or NABE, N-A-B-E, um, maybe Chase, you could tell us uh, just again a, a summary of the meeting times and place and what all you do? We meet every uh, Wednesday morning at 8 o'clock at the Dale Center and once a month we either meet here at Keenan or the LCTV studios over in Niagara, Niagara Street, Niagara Street mm -hmm. uh, for a television program and the fifth uh, Wednesday of each month we have a guest speaker at the Dale Center. And uh, now some of your guest speakers have been a lot of different business topics, very have. interesting things. They have. We've had uh, major nice. attorneys in, we've had motivational speakers, we've had nice. all types of people who come in and speak to us and enlighten us in fields that we mm -hmm. may not know about because we're too busy in our own. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It, it gives you a different perspective and mm -hmm. you learn about things that are going on in business. I think that's a great benefit. I might add, Judy, when we have the guest speakers, we encourage all of our members to bring a guest okay. who may not be a member but might learn something from that particular from speaker. speaker. Yeah, that sounds great. And so again, it's it's Wednesday mornings, and we could uh, check out your website, mm -hmm. find out more information. Um, should they contact a member first, or can they just show up? If they they, they can contact a member if they know one, okay. uh, or they can just show up. All right, and just see what what it's like. We've just had a meeting here, right here in the studio, and members of NABE are in the control room. They're running the cameras, so these people have so much expertise, and they would love to meet you. So if you're a business person and you're thinking about it, definitely stop by a meeting and see what it's like. Meet everybody, and uh, you'll really really enjoy it. So thank you all for joining thank you. Thank today you, on the show. It was great to have you, and thank you for joining us today. Have a great day. For over 60 years, Empower has been a premier service provider in Western New York, offering diverse programming and individualized care and support to make people's lives better. Empower Community Health Services makes clinical services and therapies, including podiatry, audiology, wheelchair, and physical therapy, available to the community. Our clinicians provide affordable, individualized care in a comfortable, and nurturing setting. Empower's podiatry clinic provides general foot care as well as wellness and maintenance exams for at-risk patients such as those with diabetes or circulation problems. Through Empower's hearing clinic, community members including individuals with and without disabilities receive hearing evaluations and hearing aid dispensing and maintenance. Let me ask you a question. What is the last book that you have ever read?
If you can't answer that, then I'm sorry to say you have not been properly challenging your imagination. Reading opens up the gateway to your imagination. It takes you to places and allows you to see the most incredible things. So, what have you been missing out on? But it wouldn't be safe to keep your distance until the oh, secret that will make you smile. Why the sources say that chicken mm. soup has proved it's found their way out of this Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. Life's this hard, graduating can be even harder. But you can help Ativa and the students in your community make it through by visiting boostup.org. Real men know that getting tested is the way to take care of their families. That's why real men wear gowns. For a list of the tests you need, go to AHRQ.gov. Where's my husband? Where's my husband? Stop. How's she doing? Two, she three. was a passenger. Uh, I was t boned on the passenger yeah, side. Right, we just had some wine. I wasn't even drunk. I was just buzzed. What? You were just buzzed? Well, so you didn't tell us that. In that case, she's just fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Really? No, nah, not really. Buzz driving. Fine. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Oh. Hey guys, this is my teenage friend Fred. Rad! <laughs> hey pal, you want to pay attention to the road? Relax, man, I got it. Look, my man, if your bad driving gets me killed, you better hope you die too, or I will haunt you silly. And I'm not just gonna float over your bed like, woo! I'm gonna be making a more annoying noise, like, ah! And instead of wearing those long white robes, I think I'll wear something more form-fitting and upsetting. The other ghosts will look and be like, wow, we've never seen that before. Uh. Movement. Right. Along with weight loss, it's one of the many ways to fight osteoarthritis pain. For more information on managing pain, go to fightarthritispain.org.